This is what I call the pixel mask. We have no idea what Halloween's gonna look like this year. This is just one way to be prepared and have a little bit of fun. The Pixel Mask currently has N95 filter material and adjustable head straps. But more importantly, it has an Arduino Nano and a microphone, which are used to animate the graphics on the front display. So when you talk, the display also talks, and it's a really cool effect. The circuit is really simple, requiring only three modules and no other external components, but you do, however, need access to a 3D printer. In 30 seconds or less, let's quickly cover off how the circuit works. We have our screen, a microphone module, and an Arduino Nano. The output from the microphone is connected to the A0 input to the Arduino. The Arduino's 10-bit analog to digital converter continually samples the audio output from the microphone, mapping each sample to a value between 0 and 1024. We take a rolling average to smooth out the signal and compare that value to a threshold level. If it's above the threshold, we display a half open mouth and then an open mouth. Otherwise, we display a closed mouth. The actual images you see on the screen were created using the GIMP image editor. Please let me know in the comments if you're interested in generating your own screen images. That's it for theory, I promise. Schematics and firmware code can be found in the description of this video. The original mask was uploaded to Thingiverse by user MSA. While we're here, let's show some love. I then modified the model in Blender where I have zero experience and made a model that could not be 3D printed. Luckily, NetFab has a fabulous utility for fixing broken meshes. I also designed a few custom pieces and printed them up in black and orange. I did of course need a bunch of other parts so let's quickly cover those. A high contrast white on black OLED display which looks awesome at night and not so great on camera. An Arduino Nano. A microphone module. A USB power pack with a bonus flashlight three 60-inch lengths of 6mm elastic strapping cut and singed, a 3.5mm audio cable, two female 3.5mm audio jacks, 3M N95 filter material, M3 8mm screws, a micro USB cable cut and stripped, a belt clip and a push button for that control box. What does that button do? You'll have to stick around and find out. Let's first assemble the control box by pushing in the belt clip, wiring it up, and fastening on the front cover. Let's quickly test the circuit before shoving it into the mask. We can properly set the output on the electric microphone and perform a quick sound test. Check, check, one, two. I used 100% silicone to seal where the wires enter the mask and then install the fixers. I don't know, they're just called fixers. Then cut out the N95 filter material and screw on the filter caps. All that's left to do is run the elastic strapping through the adjustable clips and the clips mounted on the mask. The button on the control box can be pressed to flash a third screen, in this case, when it's time to trick or treat. I would love to hear from you guys down in the comment section below on how Pixel Mask 2.0 could be that much better. I'll also do my best to answer any technical questions left in the comment section. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't already. That's it for this one. Happy Halloween. Get out of here.